All right, how's it going, guys? Time for another update. Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get one in this week, but I made time. <clears throat> All right, so I got uh, a few tapes and I got some records, uh, no CDs. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to kind of breeze through these tapes. There's not really a whole lot to show here. Uh, but yeah. So the first tape, uh, I know it's kind of hard to see. I apologize once again for the shitty lighting. Uh, this is Austere with Withering Illusions and Desolation. If you're not familiar with Austere, they are a DSBM band from Australia. <clears throat> I really, really like this band. Um, it's not really, it's not... Um, like reinventing the wheel or anything, but um, this band is is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I was kind of, um, I, I listened to this band. No, I mean, I would say this is one of the newer DSPM bands I've discovered. Um, and when I say newer, I mean within the past year. Um, just fantastic band um, all around. The musicianship is phenomenal. Uh, the vocals are more like howling. They're not really like, they're not your traditional black metal vocals, which um, I know that's kind of one of the things that really uh, separates DSBM from other subgenres of black metal. Um, especially when you get bands like Silencer, it's kind of the same way people... A lot of people don't like Silencer because of the vocals, um, but the music is still great. Um, the vocals don't bother me on this. I, I actually like the vocals. They're very fitting. And personally, I think the vocals, the way a lot of DSBMX do vocals, it's part. It's a part of the genre. Um, not just the depressive sounding riffs or the atmosphere. It's the vocals as well. And that... You know, those two things um, mixed together really creates what I feel is the DSBM style. And you either like it or you don't. I mean, I think DSBM is probably the one subgenre of black metal that really divides the black metal community up. Um, that's for sure. But yeah, this tape was limited to 333 copies, uh, hand numbered. I have uh, 287. Probably kind of hard to see. And uh, it's just. A plain white tape. But yeah, if you like DSBM, definitely go check out Austere if you haven't. Great band. Uh, not the last time I'll be talking about them in this video. Next up, we got some uh, German black metal. This is Odal with their uh, 2003 EP that I cannot pronounce because I do not speak German. Uh, this also has... Uh, a track on it from their split, from a split they did. What band was it? Uh, I have it fucking pulled up here so I wouldn't forget. Surter's Low. Never heard of that band, but yeah, that's the track that's on here is from their split with that band, and that was from 2004. <clears throat> Again, plain white tape. And uh, I've talked about Odal many times. Um... Excellent pagan black metal. Um, again, from, you know, Germany. I think this one... Is this one numbered two? I don't remember. No, it wasn't. But yeah, great stuff. Odal's great. Probably one of the most underrated black metal bands going. I don't really hear a whole lot of people talk about them. So, go check out Odal if you haven't. If, you're not, if you haven't, you're killing yourself. And the last tape, um, this is Wota Norden with Aryan Culture uh, Preservation. I cannot for the life of me remember what country these guys are from. And I don't want to guess because I'll probably be wrong. I, th I want to say... <sighs> Shit. I don't know. I just I can't remember. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, you can probably already fucking guess that it's NSBM by the name of the album. But uh, this is their second full length. Um, 
got it's another plain white tape, but it actually has labels on it. Booklet folds out, and uh, this one's limited to 500 copies, um, hand numbered. I have uh, 82. Again, it's pretty small. You probably won't be able to see that. But yeah, uh, Wilton Orton is a fantastic band. Um, especially if you're looking for some more um, NSBM bands to check out, this is definitely one that you should be familiar with. Um, great band. Just, all their albums are great too. I haven't I haven't heard one thing from this band that I didn't like. Um, so definitely go check it out if you haven't. That's Wota Norden with Aryan Culture Preservation. And again, I don't remember what country they're from. I, I want to say maybe Austria, but I'm again, I'm probably wrong. I don't remember. All right. Now let's go to the records. So again, uh, we're going to go back to Austere. This is their second full length uh, to lay like old ashes. And this is also the last full length that they've done. Um, I think as of right now, now the project is not active. Um, not really sure if they're planning on reviving it in the future, but, and I'm pretty sure, I think this was the last thing that they put out before they split. Um, I don't know. I can't, they only have two full lengths. I can't really decide which one is my favorite. They're, they're both phenomenal. Um, released in 2009, put out through, uh, Eisenwald. Comes with a nice booklet. Got lyrics and stuff. I'm not going to show every page, but you get the idea. And it's just black vinyl. Labels. Uh, the only thing about this vinyl release, though, is that it omits the last track on the album. Because the album is, like, just under an hour long. The last track's, like, 20 minutes long. But it's, like, it's a track that's kind of, like, continuous. It's kind of like the same thing over and over again. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's probably why they cut it. They just decided. Because if they would have done that, included it, they would have had to have made it. A double LP, most likely. Or, yeah, they would have. Yeah, there would have been no way around it. So. And, uh, I actually got this record from, uh, Ominous Domain. So, um, they may still have copies. So, if you're interested, uh, that's where you should pick it up from. And I'll, I'll throw a link for, uh, I'll probably throw a link for this album uh, in the description so you guys can check it out. But yeah, just, like I said, if you like DSBM, check out Austere if you haven't. Great band. <clears throat> and next up, we have a 2018 release. This is Black Funeral with uh, The Dust and Darkness. Take that out. But yeah, this is the newest Black Funeral EP. Just came out uh, through Iron Bonehead. Nice gateful there. Um, got the main guy, and then you got Asgore from Drying the Light, who uh, who also played on the last full length, which was uh, Anku and the Death Fire, which came out in 2016. But yeah, um, holy fuck, man. This EP is great. Um, I just think that Asgore is the best thing that's ever happened to this project. Um, and for this guy's sake, I hope that Asgore keeps collaborating with him on this project because God damn it is just, it's made this band so much better um, having Asgore involved. And I'm, I'm trying to put my, <clears throat> my extreme, you know, bias opinion about drawing the light aside um, I, I just truly think that the last couple of Black Funeral releases have been some of the best stuff they've ever done. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the early Black Funeral stuff. Um, I know a lot of people... Actually, you know, I mean, I, I've actually come across quite a few people that aren't really that big of 
that big of Black Funeral fans um, until they heard Anku and the Death Fire. But yeah, this comes on a purple with black splatter. Very nice. <clears throat> yeah, uh, this is worth checking out, though. It's it's a pretty short EP. It's under 20 minutes. So give it a listen if you haven't. It's great stuff. So yeah, that is Black Funeral with The Dust and Darkness. And next up, we have a reissue that is long overdue, and I mean long overdue. We have Craft with Total Soul Rape, debut album. Um, everybody's pretty much familiar with Craft at this point, so I'm not really going to say a whole lot about this or this album. Um, yeah, uh, Season of Mist is in the process of reissuing all of the craft full lengths, well, I don't know if they're going to do Void, but I'm pretty sure the first three are definitely going to happen. And they said they were going to be doing them in order, so that means next we're going to get Terror Propaganda, which that rules. <laughs> but yeah, if I'm being honest, I like, okay, so I like Kraft, but I really don't think they're that amazing of a band. I, kind of, I personally kind of think they're overrated, but I really wanted this reissue nonetheless. Uh, I got the red vinyl. Transparent, whatever. It looks like there's some there's some black in there, too. Like You guys should be able to see that. It's kind of cool. This is probably my favorite, though, out of all the craft full lengths, for sure. And I'm sure you're going to be seeing this a lot here within the next week or two. There's a lot of people that are going to, probably going to be showing this off. Because again, it literally just got reissued. But yeah, no reason for me to talk too much about this. It's, you know, Kraft is, is probably one of, you know, the most popular Swedish black metal bands going right now. So I'll leave it at that. That's Kraft with Total Soul Rape. Oh, fuck with that. Here we go. I'm trying to get some more light in here. <laughs> All right, next up. This is Catatonia with The Dance of December Souls, debut album. Um, so, the best way to describe this is Blackened Death Doom. And for those of you that are familiar with this, you already know. Um, so Catatonia is a very different band now than what they used to be back in the day. Um, so Catatonia, if you're not familiar with them, they are from Sweden. Um, they started out, again, like I just stated, as a blackened Death Doom band. And they kind of moved away from that style after the first uh, couple albums and decided to play a more uh, depressive metal slash rock kind of style which i really like um I, I love everything this band has done um they're just a phenomenal band all together um pretty underrated if you ask me now that being said i do prefer the early stuff but like i said i love everything this band has done uh, but yeah, this is a Peaceville reissue. We've got a gatefold here with uh, some liner notes and a picture of the band. And we do have some printed inner sleeves with uh, lyrics and pictures of the band members. And it's just uh, black vinyl. The labels are pretty basic. And I mean, now, Catatoni has always kind of had the depressive kind of lyrics though like if you go through and read these the lyrics like even the song titles like gateways of bereavement velvet thorns tomb of even tomb of insomnia i mean 
Yeah, they've still always kind of had that depressive kind of theme to their lyrics. And then uh, here's the other one, because it is a double LP. Uh, this also comes with a demo. I don't remember which demo it was. It's, I think it was the demo before this came out. Uh, but yeah, that's what, that's what's on the D side. But yeah, um, I love Catatonia. I really need to get some more other stuff. <clears throat> Definitely go check them out if you haven't, especially the first uh, two albums. And then if you're not, you know, closed-minded, go check out everything after that. So basically this one and then the second full-length Brave Murder Day after that is when um, most people would kind of fall off the wagon, but like I said, I love this band. Um, I really need to get more by them. That's Catatonia with The Dance of December Souls. And last, but certainly not least, this is Crota with Thimble Winter. If you're not familiar with Crota, they are a pagan kind of folk uh, black metal band from the Ukraine. Basically, the best way to describe these guys is Nocturnal Mortem without the symphonic black metal influence. Um, yeah, they sound a lot like Nocturnal Mortem. I mean, they're from the same country as them, so, but, um, yeah. Basically, if you like Nocturnal Mortem, this is a band you should check out, definitely. <clears throat> so yeah, gatefold, lyrics on the inside. And this is their third full length. Uh, put out through Purity Through Fire. Yeah. This also comes with uh, the Falcon Among the Cliffs release as well, which I was looking it up on the Metal Archives and it's kind of confusing as to where... Um, as to what the deal with that is. Because I think part of that, or is part of the next, is part of the their full length that came out after this or something. It's really fucking confusing. Um, if anybody knows what the deal is with that, let me know. Because <laughs> it was kind of confusing, to be honest. But yes, Crota's fantastic. Go check them out if you haven't. Uh, it's just black vinyl. The labels look the same on the other LP. Um, <clears throat> I also got this from Ominous Domain. So if you want it, that's where you can get it. And uh, these guys are playing Steel Fest next year, so I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, to checking them out live. That'll be sick. This album artwork is fucking incredible, too. I mean, pretty much the album artwork on all their albums is, is really nice. So, yeah, just, just another plus. <laughs> but, yeah, that's Crota with Fimble Winter, or Fimble Vinter, because it's spelled with a uh, V, not a W. So, yes, for fans of Nocturnal Mortem, highly recommended. That's Crota. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I'm quite positive that y'all must have discovered something new because I know I showed a few things in here that I haven't really, haven't seen anybody else really talk about. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll have some links in the description and, uh, oh, um, I still have some shirts available. Most of them are gone, but there's still a few left. Um, I have... I put a post in the comments on that video saying which ones were still available. So um, go check out the video if you haven't. Um, and if you're interested in getting a shirt or buying a shirt off me. Because um, there are still a few available. But yeah, that's all I got. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.